work in metal and ceramics, uh, my specialties. And uh, I do a variety of things from sculpture to lighting and furniture. Uh, I, I like, like to work with found objects. And uh, this piece uh, is one of my latest pieces. Um, and I call it a basket, but uh, with the ceramic eggs and stones, it kind of looks like a dinosaur nest. Uh, this is made out of bronze rod welded together, and uh, I did a, a hot patina on it. And hot patina is you put an acid on and you heat the piece with a torch, and it brings out really the colors of the metal. How long have you been doing this kind of work? Uh, I really have been doing work, work all my life. My art is really part of my life. Where did you go to school? Uh, I went to undergraduate school at a upstate New York a school called Alfred University, and they specialize in ceramics. Just, just one minute, I'm going to come a bit closer to you because I want to now back the camera out because there's background noise from the street. Okay, let's continue. So you went to school where? Uh, Alfred University. And uh, they specialize in ceramics. And I really started my career in ceramics. Uh, but as, as I've been doing this and doing pieces for public spaces, I've been working more in metal because metal is much more durable uh, for public spaces. And uh, I've been self-taught as far as how to work in metal. But it, it's all really a a process that's been going on. Do you ever do castings? Uh, well, the ceramic pieces are all are mainly cast. Uh, I fabricate most of my metal. Um, I don't have the facilities to do uh, casting in metal. Yeah. Uh, what, what I've been working with with my sculpture is uh, to capture movement and uh, time and space. And, uh, I, I was very impressed with that sphere made from the quarter-inch bolts. Yeah. And that is a neat piece of work. And, and what's nice about uh, that is that it's scrap material uh, brought into a new, a new space and, and a new so no, no Now I was talking to a, a well-known artist who does cat bronzes, um, Cynthia, uh, in Redondo Beach, and the cost of making the six or seven. Uh, uh, Subcastings to Additions, make the gel and yeah. the mold, and then you pour the, the bronze. Man, the cost is just through the ceiling when you start that again. Well, what has happened with metal in the last few years is frightening. Like, I mainly worked in copper, and I used to get for scrap copper, the best I got was like 90 cents a pound, <laughs> and now I could get $3 a pound for my scrap. So the new is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Guess which industry I come from? Scrap metal re recycling. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, for me to do things that, you know, it's really difficult. I'm working on a large stainless steel fireplace right now. And I quoted the job uh, a year and a half ago. And the metal, stainless steel has gone up so much in the last year that the quote is no longer <laughs> viable, but you know, I, I've been sitting on metal. It's turning out to be more expensive. But, you know, just sitting in my shop. Okay. So Let's go look at another one of your works. Uh, Say that one more time. These are falling rings. Uh, I I play with uh, movement and time and space and. Uh, some of them I call dancing rings, and some of them can actually move. Uh, Very cute. Let's look at another one. Did you did you do both of these? Yeah. Okay. So let's just talk about this one first. Uh, these are bronze, both pieces. 
again, this is like a moment in time. Uh, what, how, how things, what would happen is like uh, capturing gravity. What can happen? So I, I've done many years sculpture wall pieces and played with uh, positive and negative spaces. Uh -huh. And what about this big uh, monster? These are uh, planters. And I do a lot of slanters, uh, and I like to mix materials. This is the bronze rim and stainless steel. And is that stainless steel? So these are. This is all from flat stock. Just, just tell me that one more time. Uh, this is fabricated from flat stock. I cut all the pieces, and these are all welded seams. Okay. How long did it take you to do that kind of work? Well, uh, uh, I, I usually have a lot of different pieces working at the same time. And when I'm doing planters, it's usually I'm doing a commission piece. And then uh, I'll make some other pieces as I'm doing it. Um, so th there's hours of work in the piece, but uh, I don't really have a time set how long it takes. And, and uh, is a lot of the work you're doing for commission? Yeah. Um, this, uh, I had done uh, about five or six shapes like this for a place in the home in Las Vegas. So I made a few extras as I was going. Okay. Do you have a website? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Um, well, I have my own website, artanddesignonline.com, um, which is a search engine for the art and design community. And uh, on that website, I have my personal website, which is LarryLeBeau.com. Okay, well, we'll tie in the credits at the end of the video to your website, and I wish you the very best. Great, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>